Hey guys, it's Lisa here today. In my last video, I showed all of you how you can organize and keep organized your Google Drive by creating folders and using colors and also creating subfolders. In today's video, I'm going to show you another tool that you can use to help you organize your Google Drive, which is using descriptions. Um, I know our, our Google Drives can become entirely too much for us to, to handle. There's documents that we we can't find. We're not sure what folder we stuck them in. You know, and sometimes grabbing, uh, grabbing and dropping documents into folders and uh, moving them sometimes creates more of a headache than anything else because we accidentally drop them in a folder and then we don't know where they are. Um, by using descriptions, this will actually prevent you from losing your your documents. So uh, for example, I'm just gonna come down here to this one that says background, okay? Um, it's just easy for me to access. I'm gonna right click this, okay? And then I'm gonna go to view details. Okay, so if I scroll down in the view details box that top, um, pops up over on the right hand side, you'll see at the bottom, there's a thing for add description. So I'm going to edit that and I'm going to say, um, Turquoise background that I used for my website. Okay, and then here we go. There it is. Okay, now I can then take this. I can close my eyes and just drop that in. Oh, didn't even drop anywhere. Uh, let's just say I accidentally dropped it in the teaching at home folder. And then I was looking for that later and I couldn't find it. All I have to do is go up and type in um, turquoise background. And there it's going to pop up. The description actually helps. If you only name your documents and then you don't remember what you named them, using the search bar at the top is not going to help you. So make sure that when you are creating documents, whatever kind of document it is, to remember to put a description in it so that you don't lose your documents. I hope this all helped you. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video, which is going to show all of you how to share documents and change ownership. Hope this all helps. Take care, guys.